How you did such a thing to me that I, the princess, I cannot forgive your deed. You are my servant for the rest of your life. Well, Stan objects to this. Wait a minute, you girl or princess or whatever, don't push your luck. I have always wanted to ask, what is that cheeky shadow? Let me educate you on the nature of my being. I am the one and only king of evil. My reign over the world is absolute. I, evil king, Stan. And this are you are bossing around is my loyal slave. Oh, really? Yes, listen and keep this well in mind. It is my prerogative to use my geeky servant to subjugate the world's fake evil kings. He's not a plaything for little girls. Fail to heed my words and I'll gobble you whole, little missy. How dare you, idiot evil king. Talk to her highness like that, you idiot, idiot, idiot evil king. I'm sorry, your highness. He is just fathom fathomlessly stupid. Oslin, why are you apologizing? Oh, that's right. By the way, your highness, it's him. He's the bad monster. Indeed, it seems this shadow is a mind of its own separate from Ari. Oh, but there are many self-proclaimed evil kings, and I don't mind, Ari. It's true, your highness. Believe me, he really is the evil king. What's this? I don't mind. You should be a little scared. Anyways, Ari is mine. No, he is mine. Don't be silly, you twit. You'll regret this. Who do you think I am? Not. I do not buy such an empty threat. Ari, I ask you. Who can use you? Who is your master? Is it me or this vulgar shadow? Think hard. Me or this shadow? So this is... Arguably one of the most crucial points in the game for compatibility, and it makes getting one of the other three, because Stan, Rosalind, and Marlene are three choices. The other three are Julia, who you'll remember as a bitch when we met earlier, your dad, and a mysterious woman we've never actually met yet. Because, well, we could have met her, but I've specifically avoided her. I don't know why she's a compatibility option, but she is. Um... And this choice makes it really difficult to get those three. You pretty much have to avoid any other thing that would boost uh, one of these three in that in the direction of compatibility and pretty much adhere to the path. With this choice, you have some wiggle room regarding these three. Uh, yes, I have studied this. Anyways, since we are going for Ros... Well, not going for Rosalind this time. That's force of habit. Um, picking Rosalind results in this basically Rosalind being flattered, but, you know, just turning you right back to this choice. However, whoever you pick first does give you the credit to. And I bring this up because if you pick Stan, it gives you the points, but Marlene uses her feminine wiles to make you change your answer, which doesn't result in uh, compatibility for her, but, you know, for plot progression, you still have to pick her. However, we're going to pick your highness. Well said. That's my man, Ari. So everything is settled. Ari is my servant. All right, what have I done that you should betray me? Haven't I been a good evil king to you? This is unforgivable. Heavenly days, what a helpless self-proclaimed evil king. Then how about this? 9% of Ari is mine, 10% is yours. I don't want to know what is going on, your highness. What? That's highway banditry. <laughs> highway banditry? Uh, it's so much better than highway robbery. I'm absolutely using that from now on instead of highway robbery. Highway banditry. At least half is mine. No way, I won. I can't give you more than a quarter. Wait a minute, this doesn't work. At least a third is mine. Fine, how about this instead? While listening to the nonsense highway banditry over his ownership, the only thing Fantastic. the boy could do was watch helplessly. Poor Ari. So, you can't, I don't know why they dump you in here. You can't do anything in here. You actually have to leave. And, uh, interact with everyone in the house. Well, to a degree, I say interact. Your voice is coming from the room. So according to my hypothesis, ancient people used rocks to clip their toenails. Mmm, interesting observation, but what about the issue of the idealistic point of view? Mmm, idealistic point of view, interesting question. Then going even further beyond idealism and a possible existential effect... This is rocks and toenails. Indeed. Then get right back to the drawing board of theorems. Now about the Bronze Age of toenail clipping. Oh, where to begin? Yeah, primitive people probably did use rocks, simply due to lack of anything else. I believe Rosalind is here. Yep. She bonds with Annie due to the shadow business. Is that Miss Madrill on the wall behind Rosalind? Eh. Annie now has a pink shadow. What a poor thing. Yep, yeah, but having a pink shadow isn't all bad. I get a lot of attention. Cheer up, Rosalind. You're strong, Annie. I can't. Oh, Rosalind, when you're sad, I'm sad. Oh, Annie. Rosalind. Sort of a big sister complex going on. Eh, hey, such a good girl. You're lucky to have such a sister. Eh, ah, debatable. I'm learning the charms of a mature woman from Rosalind. Leave us alone, Ari. Ah, oh, great. 
They're going to become unstoppable. And I think we have to talk, check out the kitchen, and that's it. Once we check out the kitchen, we're good. That's right, when it starts boiling, add a small amount of wine. Cooking is deep, I did not realize this all. I'd not have somebody called Mother assigned. Ahem. <clears throat> I hope I have Mother on my next adventure. A new starting point, too. I would rather start from a real ordinary house rather than a castle. Whatever could they be talking about? It's okay, you're a princess. You can learn little by little. Oh, I'm sorry, your highness, talking to you like this. I do not know why, but I do not mind being talked like that when it's you, Mother. Actually, it makes me relax. Mother does not care about my class at all. Interesting. Your Highness, you are my son's pretty girlfriend. Well, normally I object to that, but that's kind of what I'm going for in this playthrough. I think that this is the most important thing for me, because I am an ordinary mother. I'm not his girlfriend, yet. I have just met him. Really? But... Oh boy, oh boy, oh gosh, the pot is boiling. My god, Mother! Well, later. You don't actually have to talk to them. Get some fluff text, but, you know. We have places to be. I believe Stan confronts you now, yes. Hey, slave, take a break here. We'll resume our divine expedition again tomorrow. Am I not gentle and caring to my eternal servant? Surely you understand I am far more gracious than the little red twit. Eh. I think she's cute. And then again, I also have a thing for sort of strong women who don't take my shit. They just sass me right back. It proves they can take a joke, and that they use humor effectively, and that they're smart. Which are all very ideal characteristics, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it's you, Ari. What were you doing late this night? What are you doing here? There's nothing to steal from this house. There's enough self-proclamation, self-proclaimed evil king. Do not confuse me with you. Oh, that was clever, Carrot Top. Which I don't think is a reference to the comedian. She is, her hair is rather carrot-like in its color. Why do I feel so comfortable in this house, despite having lived almost never leaving my castle? I've never visited such a place. I would like to show my appreciation to your mother. She taught me cooking and somehow made me feel very loved. And I would like to thank her for that. Moon says a princess must always maintain her honor. By the way, have you heard of a thing called moonbeam grass? Sounds groovy! Sure have. It's a flower that reflects moonbeams and shines beautifully. I would like to give it to your mother. I'm going out and search for it, and I will be back before dawn. Take care of things, Ari. Shouldn't we have cleaned up the... whatever. Mm, it seems Princess went outside. What's wrong? What? To find a flower? No way, it's dangerous with lots of ghosts out at night. If anything happens to the princess, I'm gonna go look for the princess. If you like, you can come with me. And we do. Who in the right mind wouldn't? I mean, really. No music for this bit. Also, no ghosts, either. Well, one ghost. But, you know, not for now. Can't go to town. Some guy will be like, Oh man, gotta stand watch, make sure nothing attacks the town here at night. Princess is over there. I told her, not to, I told her to go home because it's not safe, but she's not listening. She wants to look for the flower. I'm watching here in case ghosts come. Why don't you help the princess, Ari? Why don't I help her? That's a jolly good idea, Rosalind. Oh, Ari, you're helping me look for it. Thank you. Looked all over most of here. Please look over there, Ari. And so we began the hunt for a flower. But then a ghost appeared! And Rosalind was having none of that shit. More looking, and Rosalind terrorizing a ghost. Poor ghost. <whistles> Princess.
Princess, the dawn is breaking soon. You must go home. I see. I feel pathetic. I cannot even show my appreciation to mother was so nice to me. Sorry, just checking a thing. Oh, that's it! Well, that's convenient. Sure sounds groovy and looks groovy, doesn't it? Thank you, Ari. Thanks to you, I was able to find what I wanted. I do not deserve your kindness, your highness. Now please, wash your hands. <laughs> I did not realize. Now let us rest. I will go and wash myself. We did scrounge around in the dirt a bunch, didn't we? She worked so hard to give your mother. I rethought my opinion of her. Well, Ari, you must be tired. Why don't you go take a rest? Indeed. Ari, Ari. Oh, hey, Marley. Finally you woke up. What time do you think it is? Get ready and come down to the lobby. Everyone's waiting. I thought it would be Mom. When I present the flower to your mom, you must accompany me, understood? To the best of my knowledge, I have never woken up to a very sassy woman ordering me downstairs. Don't get me wrong. Waking up to an incredibly sassy woman would be, like, a dream come true for me. Provided, you know, there was... Like, hmm, how do I backpedal out of this to make myself sound less creepy? Um... If I were sleeping one day, and all of a sudden, an incredibly intelligent woman who backsasses me and doesn't take my sarcasm and lunacy lying down, and instead, you know, turns it around on me to... I don't know, I have a weird personality. I like being frustrated because my frustration tends to amuse the people who are frustrating me, and I like making them laugh. It's sort of a, a very beneficial loop for everyone involved. So if a woman like that suddenly woke me up, I'd be thrilled. It was like, ah, oh, rad. I'm hanging out with this woman now, this awesome woman. That's right, honey, shut up, Grandma, every time. Anyways, if that was creepy, forget I said it. There's a less creepy way of saying it, but I can't think of it right now. Annie, Rosalind, come back. Promise I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I won't forget you, my dear Annie. Rosalind, please be safe. Take care, I. Anyways, need to talk to Mom. I just like that dialogue. Mother, can I come look c learn cooking again? Oh, dear. Well, of course you can, Your Highness. Good. Thank you, Mother. All right. And please take this. Oh, my dear. These flowers are beautiful. Dear, I need water and a vase for them. Thank you so much, Your Highness. You took really good care of me. My pleasure. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, look, you're pretty, just like a doll. <coughs> you look like a doll we had in our... <coughs> it was such a pretty doll, sometimes I really miss it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that reminds me. Ari, right. present that to your highness later, okay? Okay! Yes, that thing I gave you when you departed for your journey. Don't miss your chance now. Go for it, Ari. Good luck. What did she give us? Does anyone remember, other than me? One, two, three, good luck! Once more, our hero leaves his home after being seen off by his family. He departs on a journey, joining a strange group of characters. The evil king, a hero, a scholar, and a princess. In addition, after haphazard negotiations, 30% of him is now a slave to the evil king and 70% of him is a servant to the princess. After this, who knows what could happen to this unfortunate boy? No percent belongs to me or anything. Bit mean, really. All right, I'm thinking about what your mother's words. What is that your mother was talking about when we were leaving? It's a music box. Well, actually, it's a music box. Is perhaps an ancient device? There are many hints in this game that uh, there was a society before this uh, with technology and such being regarded as ancient devices. What a pretty sound it has, as if it brings back my old memories. Are you giving this to me? Yes. Really? I'm glad, Ari. I love this sound. Hold on, Ari. Just hold on. I heard it from Annie, but when you were gifted this by your mom, just 
you were given this to someone you love, right? I don't want you to think, I don't want to think about it, but don't you think there's a class difference? So by immediately giving it to her, we gained a little bit of compatibility with her. However, once we're reminded of its true purpose, this is where the big points come in. I, the princess, should not take a present with such special meaning so easily. Then I'll take it from you. Hello, it's nothing to do with you, you idiot evil king. But Ari is my servant, so Ari's property is my property. So as an exception, I can take this device. Sure. Now then, we shall go, servants, off to subjugate evil kings. What a hero shot. What a, what a brilliant hero shot. Chapter 4, Strange Days and Stranger Company. I love that. Strange Days and Stranger Company is one of my favorite, uh... I guess names, because it is the name of a chapter? I don't know. It's hard to describe, but... I just love that as a name for a thing. To dis a s description, I guess, would be another way of putting it. Yes, we have errands to run here in Tanel before we head off to the next Evil King. First of all, I should show off this map. Because so far we've just been kind of moving in- ah, oh, for God's sake, I hate that woman. Been moving in a straight line so far. Ooh, I hate that woman. Oh, it's my favorite joke! My favorite line is coming up in this, but first... Mm, we'll save that for- we'll save that for the end. But, uh, where is this map, oh Evil King? There you are. Ahem. City of Steel yields another sign. Uh, from above, a covetous being whispers, Hush, hush, a sheet of paper with power will open the way. That's your hint, by the way. But we'll get to that in a bit. First of all, we need to go here. Because this is the village elder's house. Sickly pretty girl. Do you by any chance take a look at the letter for me? Really? Oh, I'm so happy. Bless you. I thank you very much for coming here. My mom's not here at the moment. She's gone shopping. Sorry about this. Even though she's not here, I'm sure you'd want to thank you too. Please come back some other day, okay? Please come back and tell me some stories about foreign lands. This is a small token to thank you for coming. Please accept this. I knitted this myself. I hope it'll be useful. Hand knit cap is actually one of the best items in the game as it increases all of your stats. Please come back and see me. Please, for sure, okay? I'll make sure my mom will be here. It's been a while since I've talked like this. I apologize, I couldn't entertain you. See you again. Bye. So, Kaida, because she is a cruel and heartless woman, uh, first of all, it dumps us outside the house. Um, I won't show it off because it means running back inside the house, but, uh, if you were to examine that prior to that uh, particular cutscene being available, um, you would have heard coughing on the inside, but if you go and check it now, it's silent. And kinda believes this means the girl is dead, mostly because it frustrates and upsets me. I believe she's just gone to sleep because I have hope in this world and I think that girl's adorable. Alright, what's up? Who's this foxy lady? Hey, isn't she... Why aren't there any girls who got for me? It's not fair. This person is not what you think at all. How absurd. How could you say the princess? Princess? You mean THE princess? Princess who came to Rashilo? Are you serious? What's this? Is there something on my face? Princess, talk to me! Yes! Alright, tell me why is this one so excited? Because you, the princess, are beautiful. I do not like flattery, but somehow when you say it, it does not feel so bad. That was a meaningless cutscene, but... Compatibility. I don't know why, but Ari gets all the luck. It wasn't like this before. Hey, you watch your language in front of the princess. There's only one thing to do. I'll find new romance right now, right this minute. Smell ya later, dumb kid. Have Julia. You're more her type. Whiny and pathetic. Oh no, she doesn't like whiny. Pathetic and doormat-like. Speaking of Julia, ugh. She's a macho tough guy now. So you're some macho tough guy now, you're going even further from my ideal. I was thinking of reconsidering for a little while. It was this supermodel over there. I'll speak up, who is she? This is a princess. Well, if you don't have to lie, you just don't like me, just tell me. All along, I thought you had a crush on me. No. I don't waste any- you don't waste any time. I leave you alone for a moment, you after the first girl you- Yeah, pretty much. You are a horrible woman. You're that type after all, I was wrong about you. Yep, sure were. How selfish, this is what humans are really like. The very fabric of human nature is evil. Evil and egotistical. Right, what are you doing? Why didn't you play tricks with your shadow? I told you I don't like that kind of man. Play tricks with your shadow? These villagers conspire to infuriate me. 
Say, you, Ari is not the kind of person you describe. You've known him long enough to know that, right? And it's true, she is the princess. You've got to believe what your friend tells you, right? I don't want there to be any excuses. I give up. And I comprehend what this country girl is upset about. I have no clue. There, there, country girl. Cool your temper. Would you like a cow? <laughs> Uh, I just love that image so much. This princess doesn't understand Julia at all. It's just like, uh, whoa, what are country girls like? Uh, I can offer you a cow? You have no right to call me a country girl. Ever! What is that young lady mad at? Hardly necessary anything to make her mad, I believe. Alright, there's quite a lot going on. Had a busy social life here, huh? Yeah, something like that. Would you like a cow? Well, that's the name of this episode.